This is the Aviat Merli of the 1st of September, 2024. Original date, the 25th of November, 2001. Give good wishes and take good wishes. Find a solution to any reason and resolve all problems. Today, Babdada, the ocean of love, having been pulled by the string of love of his children, who are embodiments of love, has come to celebrate a meeting. The children called and the Lord, Hazur, became present, Hazir. You constantly celebrate a subtle meeting, but nevertheless you called Babdada into the corporeal form, and so Babdada has come into this unlimited gathering of you children. Babdada is pleased to see the love of the children, and in his heart he sings this song for all the children everywhere. Wa elevated fortunate children wa souls who are worthy of God's love wa to have such a great fortune and to attain it easily in an ordinary way you never thought about this even in your dreams however today you are seeing your fortune in the corporeal form Babdada sees that even children who are sitting at a long way away are celebrating a meeting. Babdada is seeing them and celebrating the meeting with them. The majority of mothers have received a golden chance and Babdada is also especially pleased to see the Shakti army and that the mothers who stay within the four walls have become world benefactors through the Father, and have claimed a right to the kingdom of the world. Have you become this, or are you still becoming this? What would you say? You have become this, have you not? All of you have the globe of butter of the kingdom of the world in your hands, do you not? Babdada has seen that all you mothers who have reached Madaban are happy about one thing. What are you happy about? That Babdada has especially invited you mothers. So there is special love for you mothers, is there not? You speak with intoxication. Babdada has called us. We have been invited. So why would we not come? Babdada also continues to listen to everyone's heart-to-heart conversations and continues to observe this intoxication of happiness. In fact, Pandavas are no less either. The completion of the task of the world cannot happen without the Pandavas. However, today... The Pandavas have also especially kept the mothers in the front. Babdada is telling all of you children a way to make very easy effort. Mothers want everything to be easy, do they not? So Babdada is telling all of you mothers and the children that the way to make the easiest effort of all is while walking and moving around and coming into connection and relationship with others. Give every soul feelings of good wishes from your heart and also take good wishes from others. No matter what others give you, even if they give you bad wishes, With your power of good wishes, transform those bad wishes into good wishes. Let every soul experience good wishes from you. At that time, just experience the soul who is giving bad wishes 
to be under the influence of one or another vice. You would never have bad wishes for a soul who is influenced by something else, or bad wishes for someone who is under the control of someone else. Good wishes would always emerge to help such a soul. Simply remember one thing. I constantly have to perform one task. Through my thoughts, through my words, through my deeds, and through my connections and relationships, I have to give good wishes and take good wishes. If you have any wasteful or negative thoughts for any soul, then remember what your duty is. For instance, when a fireman sees a fire somewhere, they don't forget their duty of putting water on the fire. They remember that they are the ones who pour water on fire, and that they are the ones who put out the fire. In the same way, if someone performs a task that you don't like, whilst he is under the influence of the fire of any vice. Just remember your task. My duty is to extinguish any type of fire, to give blessings, and to give the cooperation of feelings of good wishes. Simply remember one word. Mothers easily have to remember one expression: give good wishes and take good wishes. Are you mothers able to do this? All mothers were then seen raising their hands. Are you able to do it, or do you feel that you will do it? Are you pandavas able to do this? You pandavas say that you will do this. The pandavas are remembered as being constantly victorious. And the shaktis are well known for being constant world benefactors. Babdada still has one hope left to be fulfilled by all the children everywhere. Shall Baba tell you what this one hope is? You already know it. You teachers know it, do you not? All of you children are making effort according to your capacity. Babdada smiles, seeing your efforts. However, the one desire is for there now to be a fast speed in your efforts. There are efforts, but let them now be at a fast speed. The way to do this is to finish the word reason. And constantly be an embodiment of solutions. There are reasons according to the time, and there will continue to be reasons. However, all of you have to become embodiments of solutions, because by finding solutions for the world, all of you children have to send the majority of all the souls to the land of Nirvana. Only when you make yourselves into embodiments of solutions, will you then be able to find the solutions to all the problems of the souls of the world and send them to the land of Nirvana. Now, souls of the world want liberation, and you are the instruments to enable them to receive the inheritance of liberation from the Father. Therefore. When you instrument souls first liberate yourselves by finding solutions to the reasons for different problems, you will enable the world to receive the inheritance of liberation. So, are you liberated? Let no reason for any type of problem come in front of you. Because of this reason, because of the other reason, because of this reason, etc. When any reason comes in front of you, then think of a solution to that cause in a second. Think this: 
Since I am someone who finds a solution for the world, can I not find a solution to my trivial problems? Can you not do that? Now a queue of souls will come in front of you. O bestowers of liberation, give us liberation, because you are the direct children of the bestower of liberation. You are the children who have a right. You are the master bestowers of liberation, are you not? However, a door of obstruction is closed in front of the queue by you master bestowers of liberation. The queue is ready, but which door is still closed? In terms of your efforts, the door of one word of weak effort is why? Q, the question mark why. This word why doesn't bring the queue in front of you. So Baptada is reminding all of you children in this land and abroad. Now put an end to the door of problems, to the question why. Are you able to do this? Are you teachers able to do this? Are you Pandavs able to do this? Is every one of you raising your hand or only some of you? You foreigners are ever ready, are you not? Yes or no? If yes, then raise your hands up high. Some are doing it like this. Now let there be no name or trace of any problems remaining at any centre. Is this possible? Let each of you think, I have to do this. Let teachers think, I have to do this. Let students think, I have to do this. Let householders think, I have to do this. Let the residents of Madaban think, I have to do this. Are you able to do this? Is it possible that the word problem finishes, that reasons finish and there are solutions? What cannot be possible? What did the children who came at the time of the beginning of establishment promise? They also demonstrated it by putting it into practice. They demonstrated making the impossible possible. You showed this, did you not? So how many years has it been? How many years has it been since establishment? Sixty-five came the answer. So in this many years, can the impossible not become possible? Is it possible? Main teachers, raise your hands. Those of you from Punjab are not raising your hands. Is there some doubt? You are thinking a little. Don't think about it. I have to do it. Don't think about others. Let each one of you think for yourself. You can think for yourself, can you not? Forget others. You are able to think for yourself and have courage for yourself. Are you not? Or not? Are you foreigners able to have this courage? Congratulations. Acha, now those who understand, raise your hands from your hearts, not just superficially. It is not that I raise my hands just because others are doing so. If you have the determination in your heart to finish the reasons, and definitely become an embodiment of solutions, that no matter what happens, or no matter what you have to tolerate, even when you have to oppose Maya, 
even if you have to tolerate one another in your connections and relationships, you mustn't become a problem. Is this possible? If you have this determined faith, then from all those sitting at the back to all those at the front, raise your hands. Babdada made them all raise their hands and also watched this scene on the TV. This is good exercise for you. This is why Babdada makes you raise your hands. Just as you have enthusiasm when you see others raise their hands, so too, whenever a problem arises, then just see Babdada in front of you. In your heart say Baba and Baba will become present and the problem will end. The problem will move away from in front of you and Babdada will become present in front of you. Always remember at every moment your title of being a Master Almighty Authority, one with all powers. Otherwise, in the love and remembrances that Babdada gives, should he not say, Master Almighty Authorities, those with all powers, but instead simply say, those with powers? Would you like it if Baba said, love and remembrance to the children with powers? You are Master Almighty Authorities, the ones with all powers. So what can a master almighty authority not do? Simply remember your title and your duty. Each one's title is master almighty authority, one with all powers. And your duty is world benefactor. By constantly remembering your title and duty, the powers will emerge. Become a master. Become a master of even the powers. Issue an order. Order the right power at the time of need. In fact, you do imbibe the powers. You even have them. But the only thing missing is that you sometimes don't know how to use them at the time of need. After the time has passed, you remember, it would have been much better if I had done this instead. Now practice using all the powers you have merged in you at the right time. You use your physical organs by ordering them. You use your hands and feet, do you not? In the same way, use every power by ordering them. Use them practically. You keep them within you, but you don't use them that much. By using each power at the right time, they will definitely do their work. Also remain happy. Sometimes, some children's faces are seen to be lost in deep thought and a little too serious. Remain happy. Dance and sing. Your Brahmin life is to dance in happiness and to sing songs of your fortune and of God. If dancers and singers were to dance seriously, it would be said that they don't know how to dance. Maturity is good, but being serious too much makes you look as though you are lost in deep thought. Babdada heard that the inauguration of the place in Delhi is going to take place. But what inauguration does Babdada want to see? There is a note to say the inauguration of the Om Shanti Retreat Centre took place on the 9th of December 2001. Fix a date for that. 
These small and big inaugurations will take place anyway. However, the inauguration that Bap Dada wants is that all of you come onto the stage of the world as angels equal to the Father in a practical form and with the curtains open. All of you also like such an inauguration, do you not? In your heart-to-heart conversations too, all of you continue to say, and the Father continues to hear, the only desire we have now is to reveal the Father, whereas the Father's desire is that the children be revealed first. The Father will be revealed with the children. He will not be revealed alone. So Bap Dada wants to see this inauguration. You have very good enthusiasm. At the time when you have a heart-to-heart conversation with Baba, all of you have very good enthusiasm. However, when you become karma yogis, there is a little difference. So what will you mothers do? The group of mothers is very big, and seeing the mothers, Bap Dada is very pleased. No one else has put mothers ahead so much. However, Bap Dada is pleased to see the mothers move forward. The mothers have this special thought. What no one else has been able to achieve We mothers will do that with the father. Will you demonstrate that practically? Now clap with one hand. Wave your hand. Mothers, you mothers are able to do everything. Mothers have good enthusiasm. Even if you don't understand anything else, you have at least understood, I belong to Baba and Baba is mine. You have understood this much, have you not? All of you say, my Baba, do you not? Simply continue to sing this song in your hearts. My Baba, my Baba, my Baba. Bap Dada is giving you a second for all to sit with alertness. All of you now have 100% love for Bap Dada, do you not? The love isn't a percentage, is it? Is it a hundred percent? So are you ready to give the return of a hundred percent love? You have a hundred percent love, do you not? Those who have a little less love, raise your hands. You will be saved later. If you have less love, then raise your hands. Those who don't have 100% love, raise your hands. Baba is talking about love. There are one or two. Acha, you don't have love, it doesn't matter. That will happen. Where else can you go? You will have to love Baba. Acha, All of you are now sitting with alertness, are you not? Now, in return for love, can you all become introverted in front of Bap Dada for a second and have the thought in your heart and from your heart that you will now no longer be a problem for yourself or for others? Are you able to have this determined thought in return for love? Are you able to do this? You are those who think that no matter what happens, even if something does happen, you will transform yourself in a second. Have this determined thought in your heart. Bapdada will help those who are able to have this determined thought. But the way to receive help is to remain aware of the determined thought. You have had this thought in front of Bap Dada. The method of remaining aware of this will help you. So are you able to do this? Nod in agreement. 
Look, what cannot be achieved through thoughts? Don't be afraid. You will definitely receive Babdada's extra help. Acha. To all the intense effort-making elevated souls. To the courageous children who constantly give the return of the Father's love. To the children who are charitable souls and who constantly make others into special souls with their own specialities. To the children who are constant embodiments of solutions to problems and to the children who especially fly ahead. Babdada's love, remembrance and namaste. And at the time of farewell, today all of those in Madaban who are busy in the task of security are coming in front of Babdada. The ones who look after the Yagya have a very big duty, so they are looking after everything and are remembering Baba while sitting far away. Therefore, Babdada is especially giving love and remembrance to all those who are looking after everything or doing any other service at this time in Gyansarova, Madaban and Shantivan. You are all working very hard. All of those from this land and abroad who have sent their remembrance should consider Babdada to have given them special love and remembrance. Acha. Blessing. May you be a double light angel who remains free from any attraction of old sanskars and relationships of the old world. To be an angel means to be free from any attraction of the old world, not to be attracted by any relationship of either your body or any physical person or possession. In the same way, you have to be free from any attraction of old sanskars. Let there not be any attraction to sanskars in any form of thoughts, attitudes or words. When you become free from all attachments, that is, from wasting time, from any wasteful company or wasteful atmosphere, you will then be said to be a double light angel. Slogan Only those who sustain all souls with the power of silence are spiritual social workers. Om.